Hello and welcome to your astrological vibrations for Friday, April 8th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I am my worth warrior. And today we are coming down from the new moon. So we're still essentially in new moon energy. The energy is starting to wax. That means the moon is going to be moving into her fullness. Um, so we've got that positive momentum going for us. And today we have a 19 degree day, which is a degree aimed at knowing and owning our worth. One and nine, you're a 10. And I love this. The astro is so working for us in this energy. We have the moon in Taurus, the sign of knowing and owning our worth. Um, and Mercury is also in Taurus. So our emotions and our mind is focused together on our worth. And we begin the day with the moon connecting to Mercury in Taurus at four degrees. So four degrees is that Uranus degree. Shaking things up, we may have a little evolution revolution in our emotions, in our mind, where it comes to our worth. And that's where we go back to that energy mantra for today. I am my worth warrior. In society right now, the way things are currently, we have a lot of things that are like, oh, that's not good enough. You should be doing this this way, all that kind of energy. But this gives you an opportunity to take back that power because that's really what it's about is taking back that power and recognizing it doesn't matter what society says. I am my worth warrior. I decide my worth and I know my worth because I know I'm a child of the universe. And in that we have the moon connecting to Neptune today at 10 degrees, the degree of worth, reminding you, you are a child of the universe. You are worth it. You are here with specific purpose. You are here for a reason. So hold space for that reason. We then have the moon connecting to Jupiter, friendly, trying, easy energy. This is 14 degrees. That's a five. So this may take you again into your mind. You may find yourself figuring out the things that you think don't make you worth it. We have a grand trine in Earth. So that has us focusing on reality. You know, <clears throat> what is becomes very important. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. So <clears throat> we're holding on to that energy. This is what is. That connection, though, Neptune's reminding you there's so much more than what you see, so much going on than what you see. you got to sometimes let go of that control of what is to the energy of possibility. And Jupiter does bring in that possibility. So it's going to be kind of like that energy. Like, are you going to believe your mind or are you going to believe in the energy of more than what you know, <clears throat> the energy of infinity? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so we also have today, we have the sun building to Uranus, which is also helping take us beyond reality. Uranus is like, hey, <laughs> you know, there's laws of the universe that don't have to be followed. Uranus is the only planet that goes like in its complete own direction. And that sun-Uranus connection, conjunction that's happening tomorrow is opposing Lilith. So Lilith energy, the possibility of the feminine, the possibility of the feminine adventure. Lilith is the energy of the feminine that's like, I'm not going to settle for this reality. I'm going to go create my own. I'm going to go see what else there is out there because I know my feminine instinct tells me there's a lot more out there. That Lilith energy is feeding into this revolution, evolution energy that's asking us to shift ourselves. This is also at going to be at 20 degrees, this connection between the sun and Uranus and the Lilith energy. And that 20 degrees is the degree of finding the comfort of owning your feelings. So don't forget your feelings in this process of working through this and on this. So in that, I am going to get to the cards. Flowering, flowering into who you are, building. Look, we're building into the fullness, the fullness of our beingness, the holiness of our beingness. And you, you are innocent. You are a beautiful child of light. This is the sun card. This is a card of your inner light. You are a master. You have this master energy in you, available to you at all times. And you are whole and holy, the maturity card. But sometimes we forget this because we play this game of society. We play the comparison game. That person's there in this light, in their life. That person's saying this, this, that, the other. The reality game comes and plays for us. What we need to do is go back to receiving higher stimulus, meditating, connecting in, 
remembering who we are and becoming our own worth warriors. And so that's really the energy today. Take it back to you. Take it back to your own personal worth. Show up for yourself and see how you shift into that flowering energy of owning who you are and standing here in that moment. So that's it for today. Book a reading if you'd like to go deeper into your chart, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.